یعنی ہاؤ یا یو الدین امن و کثیر من الاحبار و رحبان اللہ یا کلون اموال اللہ سے بالباطل و یسدون عن سبیل اللہ اینڈ ادر کریٹیسزم آف دیز پیپل آف دی بک اینڈ پلیز بفور ریڈنگ دی آیا لسن فرام می دی حدیث لیات امتی ما تعالی بن اسرائیل حضب نال بن نال لطبعن سننا من قبل کم You will follow in the footsteps of the former Ummah. The same things will come to you. They have made their, Ya ayyuhu al-lajina amanu, inna kasira min al-ahbaru wa al-rohbanu, la yaakuluna amwal al-nasi bil-batil. Many among these rabbis and monks, they are eating and devouring the riches and money and wealth of the people with false means. They have made deen a profession. And when deen becomes profession, it's the worst profession of all. They stop people from the path of Allah. They don't let go towards the right dawah. No, no, no. Who is he? He is not an alim. He is not a certificate, certified alim. But what said of Muhammad? He is an illiterate person. Ummi. The same is to be said today. Who is he? We are the authority in deen. Come to us. Don't go. Yasuddun an sabirillah. And let me quote here another hadith which sends, you know, shivering. Yushik wa in yati ala al-nasi zamanun la yabqa min al-islam illa smuhu wa la yabqa min al-Quran illa rasmuhu I fear that a time will come when there will nothing be left from Islam except its name. And there will be nothing left from Quran except the script. Masajiduhum Amiratun. Their mosques will be very grand, crowded. Wahiya kharabu min al huda. Absolutely devoid of guidance. Rituals, mere rituals. وَعُلَمَاهُمْ شَرُّ النَّاسِ تَحْتَ عَدِينِ السَّمَاءِ And their ulama will be the worst people under the canopy of the sky. مِنْ عِنْدِهِمْ تَخْرُجُ الْفِتْنَةُ وَفِيهِمْ تَعُودُ From near him will come out fitna and it will return to them. Starting fitnas will be the only hobby with them. This is the ayah. This is the hadith. The same condition. Ya ayu al-lazina amanu inna kasira min al-ahbari wa al-ruhbani la yaakuluna abwal al-nasi bil-batil. These things have come to your country also. Now Tavi is being sold, I told, for five dollars, ten dollars in Chicago. It's going on now. Everything has come here. All the religious professions, they have fully overtaken your society also. For some time, you know, these things were not here. But now, full, full-fledged clergy, full-fledged, you know, all these institutions. Ya ayu al-lazina amanu inna kasira min al-ahbari wa al-ruhbani la yaakuluna amwal al-nasi bil-batil wa yasudduna an sabi lillahi wa al-lazina yaknizuna al-zahba wa al-fizzata wa la yunfiquna ha fi sabi lillahi fa bashirum bi azab al-alim. And those who hoard gold and silver and don't spend it for the cause of Allah. فَبَشِّرُمْ بِعَذَابٍ عَلِيمٍ So to them, O Messenger of Allah, give them the glad tidings of painful torment. This ayah 
اٹ واز سو ٹو سے مس انڈرسٹوڈ بائی حضرت ابو ذر رضی اللہ عنہ ہی ڈکلیئرڈ کیپنگ اینی کوائن آف گولڈ اور سلور از ہارم بٹ دی جنرل باڈی آف دی مسلمس اینڈ دی اسکالرس دے تھنک دیٹ اف یو نو یو شیو گوٹ سم سیونگس یو کین ہیو سم گولڈ سم آرنامنٹس آف گولڈ اینڈ سلور اینڈ گولڈ بٹ اف یو پی دس دکا اٹ از ناٹ کنس یقنی زونا دیز ورڈ آر ناٹ ایپلیکیبل ٹو اٹ بٹ واٹس دی بیسس آف سینگ دس It can be said, yes, inferring generally from the principles and teachings of Quran and the legal structure of Islam, which is correct, I agree with them. But the more important point they have missed, this actually relates to the people of religion. Somebody is doing a business. Somebody is a doctor, physician, engineer. He is earning on account of what? profession he is dealing in something he has a shop grocery he is earning on account of that shop what are these people earning on what account what are they dealing with dealing in they deal in religion so if they have a lost wealth that is a peculiar case you can have You require, you know, livelihood. But if you store money, if you amass wealth, while there's no source of income with you, except religion, then this is the worst thing. This, this actually relates to the Ahbar and Rohban. This ayah is one. So this actually, this, you know, warning, stern warning relates to the ahbar and rohban not to the general muslims ya ayyul ladina amanu inna kaseeran min al ahbar wal rohban la yaakuluna amwal an nas bil batil wa yasudduna an sabil allah wal ladina yaknizuna al zahaba wal fizza wa la yunfiquna fi sabil allah fa bashirhum bi adab dhalik this relates not to the common people but to the people who say we are only serving deen well Why didn't, did you then make such a big property for you? He's going to your sons and daughters and they are fighting and quarreling. You know, throughout the history, except for the last 50 years or so, no Muslim alim or scholar had any royalty, any rights reserved of any of his books. If you are charging royalty, if you are earning on that account, well, it's okay. Till your life, you need something to, subsistence you need. But now that becomes a property to be inherited by the sons and the daughters. And they will quarrel about it. What will happen? And what is happening, everybody knows. So that's the point. You know how many books Mawlana Ashraf Ali Talmi, he wrote, no right. Anybody can publish, whosoever likes, publish. And thank God, this point came to my mind from the very beginning. Whatever I have written, my cassettes, audios, I don't have any royalty, no rights reserved. Nothing of this. As you know, Hazrat Masi has been reported to have said in his sermon when he was sending his disciples to go and preach the word of God. You got it free. You can wait free. I never charge anything from you. You will also not charge anything from anybody.
یا یادین امن اللہ کثیر ابن الاخبار و رحبان اللہ یاقلون امبال اللہ سے بل بات لے و یسدون عن سبیل اللہ و ندین یقنزون الذہب والفضۃ ولا ينفقون ها فی سبیل اللہ فبشرهم بعذاب الیم یوم یحما علیھا فی نار جہنم دس ریمبر دی ڈے امیجن دی ڈے ون دس گولڈ اینڈ سلور ول بی ہیٹڈ اپ ان دی فائر اف ہیل فی نار جہنم فتقوا بها جباههم و جنوبهم و ظهورهم and then with this you know red hot gold and red hot silver their foreheads and their sides and their backs will be branded haza ma kalastum li anfusikum this is what you hold it for yourselves fadooku ma kuntum taknizun now taste taste what you had gathered for yourself and hold it for yourself 